how are we doing? It is Saturday today. I feel really nice and chill today, despite the fact that I need to vlog today. Like there is pressure to vlog uh, because this week has just been an absolute shambles. Like everyone's been celebrating Mercury coming out of retrograde, but I feel like for me, Mercury or something else has gone into retrograde for me personally, because this week has been an absolute disaster. It's been good in a lot of ways, but I made the best of it. However, a good two, three days of my week, yeah, three days of the week have just been absolute write-off. So Tuesday I spent a good two hours trying to get to London. Did I get to London? No. In fact, I also struggled getting home. Uh, all the trains decided to run fast and went past my stop and didn't tell anyone. So that was a really interesting day. So Tuesday was a write-off. Wednesday, I had one appointment and the journey to that appointment should take 10 minutes. Uh, I left the house at one o'clock and I got home at half past six. Also not fantastic. That was a monumental waste of my time. I actually thought I was gonna starve in my car. So Wednesday, also not fantastic. And actually that was the day that I struggled the most because I couldn't even like make the best out of that situation because I was just stuck in my car. I couldn't even use my phone or anything. Just crawling, crawling for hours. Thursday I went to London, which was all fine. I started a vlog and then just didn't have any time to actually check in. So I literally have like a minute's worth of footage. And then Friday, the roads around me are still really, well, were still really messed up. I don't know if they are today. Uh, and my whole day was canceled. It's been a week and all of the things that I should have had booked in that I should have been vlogging have just absolutely not happened. So here we are, it's Saturday. I'm hoping we might go somewhere today, uh, but we're gonna get the train because I think, we'll see. I think we're gonna get the train because I actually need to like leave the house and go somewhere, but I don't wanna spend like three hours on the road so we're gonna see where today takes us hopefully we'll leave the house and go somewhere i have kind of had to resign myself to the fact that uh this video is probably not going to go live tomorrow but in the interest of making the best out of what is not the best week uh i'm going to use it to just get ahead with the vlogs and then hopefully if we have not great weeks again where things get really held up then I, it won't impact me. So we're gonna make the best of a bad week. I think we're gonna have a nice day today. It is literally so sunny and it's not as freezing as it has been. So that's also great. I should really do this with a mirror. This could go very wrong. But another upside of this week is we finally, hi Nala, hi Nala, um, is we finally booked a trip that we have been meaning to book for a while and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, and that's all I'm gonna tell you for now, but I am actually so excited. We've talked about doing this for ages and I'm really looking forward to it. So that was definitely like peak of the week. Um, I did wanna say thank you so much to everyone that commented on my last video. I know there were a lot of first time commenters um, in the comments section and it was, I, although I haven't, there's such a mixed response in the comments, it was still really helpful, um, even though it hasn't necessarily uh, given me a clearer answer, it was so helpful just to read so much different feedback. So I really appreciate all of your comments and just everyone sharing, especially there are some like quite um, emotional, like really touching stories in there. And I just really appreciate everyone being so like open and honest. Um, it's a really lovely, lovely space in the comments section. Just lots of people being very supportive of each other. And I just love to see that. So thank you so much. I, I think I'm gonna do it, you know, like I, if you haven't watched the video, I will link it um, and you can go and watch it because no one needs to hear that chat twice because it was very long. But um, I think basically what I won't find out is like, like I could have good, what is it, AMH levels? Good levels of something, like a good reserve, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee you getting pregnant quickly. Um, not that if you haven't watched the video, please go and watch it. That's not happening anytime soon, but I'm just very curious about um, fertility testing at the moment and just kind of like trying to plan ahead a little thing, a little bit, which I think is good to do rather than just kind of 
leaving it to be a surprise for me anyway i think that is a good a good option i don't i don't think it's for everyone and actually i would rather know if there are any potential roadblocks earlier on so that i can troubleshoot because i'm a big big troubleshooter rather than leaving it um like a couple of years and wondering why things aren't really going so well for me um and then feeling potentially like very uh stressed and worried and starting the process two years later um and just really wanting to like rush it yeah i think i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna do it i will keep you updated and i will bring you along with me because there were so many of us that were so curious myself included so yeah tbc we'll keep you updated happy to be everyone's guinea pig like i said but yeah thank you so much for all of the love and all of the comments like i really really appreciated it and it was as much as the response was super divided like i said it was still really 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 helpful and there were lots of very um like there wasn't really any information that i didn't feel was helpful um so i just really appreciate everyone taking the time it was honestly i appreciate it so much but today I kind of want to go and get some like nice healthy food bits just go for a wander in general get out the house um i've got a lot of stuff i've got a lot of stuff that i need to show you need to show you want to show you have been dying to show you have been stockpiling so i can show you i did a bit of shopping i've done quite a bit of shopping i didn't really do too much in december but in january i have shopped a little bit Seriously, if you have oily skin, get the Huda Beauty powder, it's so good. I'm just gonna leave my hair today because whilst I'm not particularly busy, I'm just gonna try and give it a bit of a break from heat styling every day. So I blow dried it straight last night and uh, it's a bit bumpy, but it's fine. Okay, so whilst I let the dog out, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. I'm really annoyed because I actually basically filmed this outfit of the day the other day and I looked a lot better than I do today. I'm really puffy. I had some sushi the other day and it's not really left my face. And I'm also being side lit, which is definitely not helping. Um, but I've got my Skims body on. This Zara coat we're gonna talk about in a bit because I won't be linking it. I picked it up recently and there's a whole story behind it. Um, I've got a little Chanel boy, which I have not worn in the longest time, but I'm kind of enjoying wearing it like this at the moment. And then some really old, ripped, really low rise Zara jeans, which are great uh, if you're feeling a bit bloaty after having sushi. Uh, it's fab because there's no like high waistline. They are literally the comfiest jeans. And then I've got uh, some like Air Max. Air Force, I don't know, I'll link them. And then I've got Monica Venida hoop earrings in and that's literally it for jewelry. I'm just keeping it really minimal today. Oh no, this game over. Friday and Saturday as well. Ooh, delicious. This game over for you. Well, we were planning a little cinema date as well. You could save them for that. There's no way I'm gonna save them. <laughs> I was about to say I'm safe because I don't like sweets, but unfortunately it's right next to my own personal Achilles heel. Oh my god, these are so good. If you like Kinder Buenos, but you are dairy free, you need to look at these. Can you reach those? <laughs> <laughs> I also am so blind, I can't see the things eating. What are they, chocolate hazelnut? This is my own personal ticket. Oh. <laughs> I made the bag so heavy at work. We're going to switch over process where I get nervous and I don't like things either. We're going to do a food haul. Actually, we need to get our Sunday dinner stuff out of the way. But we bought mushroom pies. That's not really exciting. Should we make the bread? Yeah, Brian's making bread. Um, what are you making this up? Babe? Bagels? Bagels. Yeah. yeah. And That's the plan, isn't it? you made a focaccia. I can't remember if I showed it in the last vlog. Maybe I did. The focaccia was great. It was unreal. Got some little bread rolls for our burgers later. The exciting things. We've got kombucha because I have 
become obsessed with it. I just really love the taste. We also got some Mexican cheese, again, to have with our burgers later. We've got like these like spicy chicken burger things. So we're gonna basically make like, not a Nando's, but like some kind of, a, I'm thinking it's gonna be like American style kind of takeaway food, but at home. It's kind of, it's kind of Nando's though, isn't it? Yeah, that like bread. that bread. Yeah. They've got the same rolls that they like have in Nando's. Brian got pick and mix, which he's already started eating. And I'm yeah. feeling like I should hide these from you. You started eating your pick and mix? Yeah, because I have because... self restraint. Yeah, so why? I, I, I have self restraint. Two and then put them back on. My bag is falling apart. I need to put these in a jar. Can I try one of Yeah. So I've got hazelnuts, vegan chocolate buttons and banana chips because lots of you all know I love banana chips. I also got a little like natural bamboo toothbrush thingy because oh. I have an electric toothbrush and when I clean my brace in the morning I feel like I'm really like my electric toothbrush because I have to scrub a brace so hard to get it clean I feel like I'm really messing up my electric toothbrush head and I'm having to buy them all so I just got like a bamboo toothbrush to clean my braces with. Um, and I also got natural flossy sticks because I tried to go, I tried to use the little stringy stuff so there's no plastic involved and mm. I can't do it, I just can't. See. So these ones are like the flossy sticks but they've got like a wooden little like thing that you can recycle so they're like environmentally friendly which I'm very happy about. Um, and then I've got more carrots for the roast tomorrow and then it, I love Lego bars or Vigo bars, I don't know how you're meant to say it, but they do a dark like nut and berry, basically fruit and nut one. And I'm so happy, I'm so excited. That, that is one of the things I miss the most about not being able to have like dairy milk is fruit and nut, which is a red flag person kind of chocolate, I'm aware. Is it? I feel like people think you're really weird if you like fruit and nut. I know. But like, you get really judged for liking fruit and nut. Wow. Okay. Yeah, well done. This is really weird, but it tastes a little bit like salami to me. What? Are you feeling okay? Are you having a stroke? It's like salami. Mm, it's nice. Good thing I like salami. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, do it doesn't now, but like, I don't know. Initially, it did a bit. <laughs> oh my god! Can you taste that? It's like the, the, the tang of the dark chocolate has mm. the same sort of. Or maybe it's from the fruit, I don't know, but. That's so weird. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna hide our pick and mix from ourselves. Scales out for the second time in two weeks, that's pretty mad. We'll leave you to your bagel, chef. I'll keep you updated. Please do. And we also, whilst we're around, got. A new bath mat. Oh my god, this is actually so soft. So, some of you might remember that <laughs> I already have this one. Oh, Nala's modelling. Okay. Um, <laughs> thanks, babe. <laughs> you know, people can't see it if you sit on it. Um, anyway, lots of you will remember I have this bath mat, but in the reverse colourways. And we thought we'd switch things up a little bit. And I actually really like it because we have this cabinet here and it's grey so it kind of works and yeah it's just really lovely it's so soft i don't know if my original one was ever this soft it feels so nice um but we're gonna keep <laughs> thank you <laughs> we're going to keep the other one um as a spare for when this one is in the wash but yeah i'm very happy with it we actually got it from a little local independent shop but i know that urban outfitters do these um but i don't know if they do that exact color but i'll try and find somewhere that does and i'll link it in the info box for you but now i didn't realize what the time oh so bright uh i didn't realize what the time was we must have spent so long faffing when we were out so yeah the afternoon's kind of run away with me so i think what i'm going to do with the rest of my afternoon is actually take my gel uh, polish off because it's starting to lift. I don't know if you can see like I get these patches where it goes really light and it's like the gel is coming away from my nail and because my nails are so long it means that the weight then becomes really imbalanced and it becomes really painful so 
it doesn't look like it but all of my like cuticles are quite swollen right now and it's quite painful and sore so i'm gonna take my gel nails off and just put like a nice neutral i think the color we're going for today is pale rose which hopefully won't be too dissimilar from the base color that i've already got on so it'll look kind of similar to how it is now but just without the chrome tips which i've actually really enjoyed i'm gonna go and get cozy in my bedroom i don't know why i like to do my gels on my bed it's probably the least practical place but i like to get cozy in there watch something on my laptop or read something or whatever and just sit and do my nails <laughs> Let me pause, gone girl. Show me. Wow. No, that, that's the best one, I think. They look so cool. Oh, they look good, actually. No, they look, they all look good. Got to let them cool first. And then <gasps> see, like... see, man of my dreams. He's making bagels. What the? <laughs> I must have been really good in a past life. We'll see how they are first. True. <laughs> As you can see, it's gotten dark and we are still going. But I've done my second coat on my left hand and it's looking pretty good. We've gone for Pale Rose from Manicurist and I've got my little lamp here. Yeah, I like this colour and I don't feel like it's gone streaky, which is good. Ooh, yeah. It is definitely my bedtime. I am so tired, but very happy with the nails this color is really cute it's called pale rose by manicurist i'll link it in the info box if you need some color inspiration i also have poison which you will have seen me wear before and i really loved but this is i think my favorite like french manny kind of color i've also used like milky white or if, i can't remember if it's called milky or milky white one of those um i've used that but i prefer this one it's just so natural it's like my perfect french manny color and um, so i'll link that below if you're interested i think i also have a 15 percent off code from i did some work with them on instagram so if you're interested i will pop it in the info box um, and we can see if it works and i've had a few of you dm me on best practice for like making these last because i was saying how long um poison which is the glittery green had lasted which i would say darker colors i find in any at home gels always last better however um a couple of things i do as best practice is i actually cure the nail for longer than it says to and um, i would say like nearly double the time i also do like a light set after i do um each of my nails so i'll like do my thumb and if i put quite a lot of polish on it i'll like pop it straight in the little lamp <laughs> lamp <laughs> and like just give it a quick set and then carry on and then i'll do the next one and just quickly like for literally like five ten seconds each which isn't the full time but just to kind of like stop the liquidy polish like moving around too much and it stops I find it stops it getting streaky um, and I've also noticed like actual professionals sometimes do that with certain when we do certain types of nail art we do like a little quick cure like literally like flash it under the lamp just to stop things like moving about there was something else and I can't remember what it was so quick cure cure for double the time on like especially the top coats especially the top coats that is it a double top coat and i do that not only because i think it helps gel manis that you do at home last longer i also um think that it makes your nail stronger and then it's less likely to like um just go very <laughs> my half tattoo <laughs> i just think it makes them less like flimsy and less likely to like bend and chip and stuff like that so um yeah i am going to get ready for bed now because i actually feel like i can't talk i've really struggled today just been feeling so tired i i i don't know i think i've got st stuff on my lens sorry um i don't know if it's like because this week has been like a kind of uphill struggle with lots of things just not going right and i'm a bit more mentally tired because of that um or i'm just 
feeling tired for some other reason but i'm just really mentally struggling to like be on today so i'm gonna go to bed and i will see you guys in the morning <laughs> not be wearing a side part next week because uh not to be dramatic but it is ruining my life i had to put dry shampoo in it and i hate putting dry shampoo in my hair because it just makes it dry and more like tangly and susceptible to damage i try not to do it but needs must today because i honestly it's behaved the whole head of her has decided to behave differently and i don't understand why but anyway good morning it's sunday i wanted to show you um everything that i've picked up recently over the last month um and then i've got a few bits of pr to unbox as well oh okay we have some merit beauty but they're like these really sweet little blushes i love these they're so cute oh my god so nice oh my god i can't wait to try that tomorrow how many times have i just said oh my god i'm excited to try beverly hills and apre we have two of the minimalist perfecting complexion sticks i got some underneath before but they were too light for me um dark for me but i think this one is going to be perfect so this is the shade june and then i've also got the shade E crew which i think is gonna be that might actually be the one you know i thought it was gonna be the, the other one but this one might be it so yeah excited to try those i think they're gonna be great like quick easy makeup products and then i have some pr from toucher which i am the excited about what is this oh cleansers which is great because i actually do need like just a nice morning cleanser i've been using my clinique take the day off balm but i just think that's that's better for the evening when i'm actually taking makeup off in the morning i just need something nice and light and just quick and easy it doesn't have to be as heavy so we have got the rice wash which is the purple one and then the deep cleanse which is the green one this could be it for me so i'm excited to try that i've also got some bits from all saints these were very kindly sent to me we've got this gorgeous black lacy top so gorgeous i will do little like cutaways on screen so you can see because i feel like this vlog is going to be the longest vlog in the world then we have this dress which is stunning this is just absolutely gorgeous i'm not normally a florals girly however this is beautiful it's like it's almost like an off black like it could be a navy i think i can't tell if my eyes are going funny or not but it could be like a slight navy this could be a good winter wedding option potentially depending on uh how specific of a wedding it is but this could be a really lovely one and then they've also sent me this beautiful shirt dress i think it would look lovely belted and then with like my cowboy boots i think that would look so cool i hope the length is going to be okay on me those are my pr bits and then as you will also have seen by the stack of boxes i picked up some things myself over the last month oh i've just sat actually on my bum and i'm like really low down i have made a little mango order and it's really actually for the size of the box like a very small mango order it's just one item it might look slightly familiar to you guys i can't i'm not gonna beat around the bush here some of you may remember i did a autumn coat haul there was a coat that i tried on that i was really excited about and i it wasn't the color that i thought it was going to be and it wasn't actually really the same style as i thought it was going to be and so i sent it back because i'm very picky when i do videos like that i really don't keep much at all because i want to keep my own wardrobe very streamlined so very fussy sent it back however there have been multiple occasions recently where i have been needing a coat for the evening and i'm like 
oh, that one would have actually been the perfect one for this outfit and it's happened so many times now to the point where i was like i am actually just going to buy this coat because there are so many occasions where i feel like it would have been really helpful to have had it in my wardrobe i thought this was going to be more of a pea coat when i ordered it and because of that disappointment i i thought it was going to be more of an everyday coat for me and the pea coat style is very much something that i would wear on an everyday basis however it isn't that it's more of a like blazer coat and it's longer than i thought it would be which actually makes it like the perfect night out jacket so i decided to pick it back up so we've got this gorgeous blazer coat situation it's got very I'll just bash myself with it it's got very structured shoulders which i really like that's it's a silhouette that looks um very nice on me and my like build yeah went back looked at the video double checked that it did in fact look good on me and i thought that it did so i decided to pick it up again and then i got some bits from zara and I'm going to have to share with you a little case study on one of these items and um, I've talked about this on stories and I think on TikTok by now as well and I'm so sorry if you've already heard this story but I bought this coat from Zara and I'm going to show you like photos of what it looks like when on the website and yes I should have scrolled through more photos before anyone points it out I'm aware and I will never be making this mistake ever again I saw this coat it looked fab on the model I loved it it looked like the perfect oversized and i'm aware before anyone says they don't like the coat i'm aware that this oversized trend is not for everyone but i personally really like it and i wanted an oversized black coat and one that was also very very long the coat arrives it fits beautifully i'm so happy with it i noticed there's this little thing on the cuff doesn't bother me doesn't bother me my hair is down when i try it on which is a very important factor in this story i did a little 12 yeah everything fine super happy with it cut the tag out I then, the next day, am um, going to a meeting in 10 minutes. So my train, I have to make this train. I put my coat on, I'm getting ready to leave. And I just do like one final twirl in the mirror and I notice there's something on my back. And this is where on the website, I did not notice this. I also missed this. <laughs> this was easier to rectify. But in my moment of panic, I was like, do you know what? I've already cut the tag out. I can't take this back, which I have been told since by Zara employees that you can take things back once you cut the tag out, which I'm sure there's gonna be lots of Zara employees that watch this now that message to say, no, you can't. I don't know what's true and what's not. And I, to be honest, I'm quite by the book with things. I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't even be able to begin to try. I would just, no, it would make me want to die. That doesn't even cross my mind that that is an option. I'm also, I need to leave and I don't want to pick another jacket because that involves too many choices and i will not make it to the train station what i decided to do was cut painstakingly cut this situation off of the back i was left with a lot of like white stitching here it basically would have looked like i had either been pooed on by a bird or i had got chewing gum on myself so what i did was i got a viva eyeliner and very quickly stabbed the coat so now it just looks like my coat has maybe got ripped and been stitched back up so that is my story about this coat and my really ridiculous mistake and i've had multiple messages from people who have either seen people wearing this coat who haven't done what i've done and they've just left it on the back and basically people have gone up to the coat wearer and tried to pull the sticker off because they're like oh you've got a sticker on your back and the person's like please get off of me it's a design on my coat or I've been messaged by those people that are the people that have this coat and they're like, yeah, people keep coming up to me and trying to take stickers off my back. And both are like super embarrassed or annoyed by the situation. Someone has actually messaged me since as well to say that this brand uh, that they've collabed with on this coat actually do really, really beautiful pieces. <laughs> and it's a shame that the coat, sorry, airplane. Um, and it's a shame that the coat has this kind of design because apparently their actual designs are so much nicer so yeah that's my little story and if you see me wearing this coat and wonder why i don't link to it that's why because i really don't want someone else making the same mistake that i made and looking at the coat or looking at me wearing the coat being like that's such a lovely coat they haven't seen all of the stitching that i've taken off of it and then they go and buy it and are also disappointed i don't want people to feel disappointed so i will not be linking it i'm sure most people are 
more smart than I am but just on the off chance I really don't want to know when I was being really disappointed or annoyed at me moving on. One thing I did pick up from Zara this month that I was super happy with this was from when I went shopping with my mum is this ginormous oversized navy knit it's a wool knit it is so soft it is gorgeous it's in a navy which i love because i just love a navy blue um weirdly i used to hate navy blue it was my school uniform color i'm really happy with this i got it in a size extra small it looks like it still has the tag in but it doesn't i'm just lazy absolutely in love with that one the next one though i'm gonna want your opinion on because as you can see I've still got the tag in um i I'm undecided. I haven't actually reached for this one yet and everything else I bought when I was with my mum I have already reached for and worn and um, this one I haven't so I'm feeling like that says a lot. I'm going to show you what it looks like on but I'm feeling like this one might go back because I haven't reached for it and it's been like two weeks now. Then I also picked up this little gilet which is so sweet. It actually looks really nice with the um jumper that i'm wearing right now annoyingly this shearling is quite a not bright white but it's very white so you have to make sure that you're wearing a jumper with the right tone on underneath like if there's a yellow tone it does not look good so i got this in an extra small going into like the slightly warmer winter weather i could wear like a slightly less chunky knit underneath and um, that's maybe in like a neutral creamy beigey tone or like a white ribbed knit would be really really nice as well yeah just a nice little winter to spring piece it'll be really lovely next autumn as well i think i have a few more things to show you that i picked up and these i'm so excited about so i picked up a couple of pieces from reformation and the first is this gorgeous black wrap skirt it's that material that's called like liar cell or something like that um i got it in a size two i think it is cold wash only so something to bear in mind before you buy um but yeah it is really beautiful i wanted a skirt that was quite a long skirt so almost like a maxi skirt on me um and i really like that this one still had because it was a wrap it still has a little bit of a slit in it so like a little bit of movement because i've got another one that is maxi but low rise that i wore a lot in the summer and love i actually need to dig that out because i feel like i could definitely style that up in winter at the moment but um it doesn't have as much movement in the legs because there's no wrap element so this one is more of a kind of like i'm stomping around london kind of maxi skirt if that makes sense and i thought it'd just be a really nice one for kind of everyday uh more like smart casual styling so like when i go to meetings and things i also got this to pair with it which is a gorgeous like boxy cropped blazer and if you watched my videos this time last spring summer i would say spring actually there was a linen blazer from zara which i still have and i adore and i got a lot of wear out of that and i loved wearing it with baggy jeans and I'd been thinking to myself that like it's linen, it's not very winter appropriate, but I kept thinking to myself like I would love a winter version of that. Um, even just wintry in colour, because obviously like in winter a cropped blazer isn't really practical. Um, but I was thinking, God, I would really love like a wintry coloured, materialed version of that. And I saw this and I was like, that is stunning. And the fit of this is chef's kiss and it looks so good with the skirt but it also just looks great with so many other pieces in my wardrobe and um, so i'm so excited to have this and i actually love like i'm not normally a gray lover but i really love the color of it i need to give it a little limp roller please excuse it but yeah i am so so happy with it so i'm really excited to get wearing that once it stops being so cold and then the final thing i picked up from reformation is this dress and i'm going to need your help with this one because i really can't decide whether to uh keep this i actually picked this up at the start of january that was when i placed this order and i've since seen a few people wearing it and i really really love it on them um and it's kind of swaying me but i need to like i need to figure out where i would wear this and it is quite a specific vibe like on me it's a full length black velvet lacy dress and you could definitely like casual it down and i think for like smart casual events in the evening where i don't want to be like super dressy but i want to look nice this with like a leather jacket or an oversized blazer or just like a big coat could be gorgeous but i just need your opinion on this i need to i need other people's opinions i've just finished clearing up and looked in the mirror and my hair is literally back in a middle part so 
That's a sign. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a quick outfit of the day before I get ready to go out on one of my stupid mental health walks because I need to get out of this funk and I think a good walk, especially in the freezing cold, I just really like, what's the phrase? Blow out the cobwebs or something like that. Um, I, I just think it's gonna be good for me and I cannot have this funk going on for longer than one vlog. I just don't ever feel like it's good vibes to be watching for me or for you. Anyway, I am wearing this knit from And Other Stories. I am just loving all of their knits this winter. Um, I'm wearing a lot of the ones that I have had from previous years as well. Um, and this is another one of my favorites. It's got this like really long, uh, like floppy roll neck thing. So you can have it like all the way up if you have, I have a very short neck for reference. If you ever see me wearing like uh, roll necks, um, I have a very, very short neck. So I feel like lots of my friends could wear this and still have a little bit of like neck showing, but for me it like covers <laughs> my chin, but you can roll it like downwards like this. Sometimes I roll it in as well. And I'm just wearing it with my low rise ripped jeans and I literally have not taken them off for the best part of the week now. I'm really enjoying wearing them, they're super comfy. I really feel like a boy when I wear these, like, cause they even ride down so low that you have to like, pull them up like boys do as well, it makes me really laugh. I'm like, oh, this is what it must feel like to be a boy. I feel like my, like, bum is literally about to be hanging out. Anyway, okay, I'm going on my walk. Chef Ryan is starting the dinner. I have figured out a solution to my whole parting issue, and that is just to put on a giant headband and hope for the best. My little walking outfit today is my stupid Zara coat. Uh, I've also got, Please hold whilst I put my tea down. I've got this, I think this is from like H&M. It's like a knitted dad vest thing, but I've got just a plain black body on underneath. And uh, yeah, this works really nicely because you don't end up with loads of layers on the sleeves, which really bugs me. It makes me feel too bulky. Um, so I love this in the winter. I've got my Monica Vinida earrings in. I've had this, uh, Edge of Ember, Victoria, collab, Gaia chain on the whole time, but because of my jumper you couldn't see it. Um, and then I've just got Adenola leggings, Adenola socks, and my Nike trainers, as always. And then a little strawberry and cucumber tea, and I'm gonna find some gloves so that my fingers don't fall off. See you in a bit. Another stupid mental health walk, Vista. Gorgeous day. I literally just love coming down here. It's like my favorite thing. I love being by the sea. Just, I don't love water. Don't love being in it, but love being next to it. Wow, my face is so shiny. <laughs> I have just got out of the bath. Yes, I sat in the bath with my makeup on. I didn't have the mental capacity to take it off before I got in. It is what it is. I'm about to cleanse, but um, I finished my book, which I have been reading this week. I literally started it less than a week ago and I got through it very, very quickly. I absolutely love this book. I love Lucy Foley's other two books I've read, which were The Hunting Party and The Guest List. Love them, would highly recommend. Other than that, I haven't been up to much since I got back from my walk, which I have decided I need to make an effort to do uh, more like, not daily, but almost daily, as daily as humanly possible, because it really does just like, mentally rejig me. I know I obviously call it a stupid mental health walk uh, and it's a joke. So before anyone like gets upset about it, um, I am aware that it's important and mental health is important because that's why I do the walks because <laughs> I know, I know that it's important, but the beach was just beautiful and I felt so much better when I got back in. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do that again tomorrow. It's always just hard to justify when you've got a very long to-do list. However, I just think I'm gonna hit the to-do list even harder if I actually feel like mentally, you know, charged, what is the word? I don't even know, um, able. So yeah, that's my not so genius realization of the afternoon. Exercise is good for my mental health, who knew? Now I need to, I need to cleanse because it is upsetting me at this point that I have had my makeup on for so long. Look at that headband line, stunning. I also forgot to show you the other thing that I bought, which are these pyjamas. I've got 
the black Nadine Murabi pyjamas which have the feathers on the top and the bottom um, and I love them. I have them in pink and green which they very kindly sent to me but they sent me the green and the pink were gifted to me through Elizabeth Arden but I've always wanted the black pair so I decided to pick them up just because I was like, I know I'm going to get so much wear out of them. They're literally like the nicest thing to wear around the house. So yeah, this was the final thing that I bought this month. Oh, and plus these headbands, which I get so many questions on and I literally just picked them up from Boots. They come with a black one and a grey one and they're really handy just for like smushing your hair back. I'm going to go now and hopefully next vlog i will be fully out of my funky mood fingers crossed because we cannot go on like this thank you all for bearing with me whilst i had a break to well today but it will be last sunday for you guys um i just want to get ahead and if i do have a week where there's like all of the issues that i've like had this week it doesn't impact the vlog and i'm also not working right the way up until like we go live it just literally doesn't allow for anything to go wrong so i just kind of want to get like a video ahead i should have done this at the start of january and just delayed the first video that i put out of the year but i was just too excited and i just wanted to get back um into like the swing of things um but actually i'm just gonna stagger so we're like a week behind and yeah then hopefully if anything goes wrong and plans get cancelled i'm not vlogging on a saturday to go live on a Sunday. But anyway, no one cares. Uh, but thank you for bearing with me. I'm going to go now. Love you. Bye.